Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to a highlighter face off. Now I love highlighter as I'm sure lots of you guys do as well. I love using it, I love buying it, I love talking about it, I love reviewing it. I love collecting all of the highlighters in the world. So today I thought I would take one palette, which is the Sleek Solstice Highlighting Palette. This is absolutely raved about in the beauty community. I absolutely love it as well. It's just so pigmented, so blinding and so affordable. And they brought out a couple of other palettes. This isn't new or anything, but there's one also called the Cleopatra's Kiss. And I think I've heard that this doesn't quite live up to the standards of the solstice. So I wanted to put that to the test. So if you'd like to see swatches and application and all that good stuff, then just keep on watching. So we are going to start off with the solstice palette. If you haven't seen this before, it just has a goldish color, a peachy color, a purple, which is my personal favorite and then a cream which is blinding and if you put that on and then put the powder on top it is out of this world now it's gonna be a little hard to show you these palettes because they are in this gold reflective packaging so just quickly this is what it looks like and then when you open it up it did have a little brush in here but it was shocking so of course I got rid of it and these are the shades here they are honestly just beautiful and they are baked as well. So when I usually use this palette, I generally just mix all three of the powders together. I just love how they look together and they all perform in a very similar way. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do that. As you can see, super pigmented. Let's pop it on. It still blows me away every single time, honestly. As you can see, the color that it produces is quite a frosty light color, so the purple is definitely quite overpowering, but I love purple highlights, so I do not have a problem with this. I'm not the kind of person who cares if you can see the highlight on my skin, because I just love highlights so much that it doesn't bother me. There's really not many ways that you can make me dislike a highlight unless it's dark brown and then it just looks gross. On my skin tone, obviously. So I don't even need to build that up. I'm now just going to attempt to buff that into the skin so it doesn't look so crazy. But yeah, you really just need one layer of this stuff. It is, I hope the camera is doing it justice. I'm just gonna grab a little bit of the light creamy shade and just pop that under my brow bone just because I never usually do this, but I wanna showcase all of the shades. And then I'm just going to grab a finger and I'm just going to take the purple shade and maybe mix it with a bit of the cream actually. Pop that on the inner corner. Oh, can you see that? Whew. Oh, yes, as you can see that cream just makes it 10 times more blinding. It is insane. I'm just not a big cream highlight user so I don't tend to use it but it is beautiful. So now we are finished with the Solstice palette. I know this may not be everyone's cup of tea. It's not the most wearable shades, I guess, especially with that purple. But if you don't use the purple and you just use the other shades, they are fairly normal. So they won't look this insane on the skin, but personally, I just love this look. Moving on to the next palette, which as I said, is called Cleopatra's Kiss. The first thing we are going to do is get rid of this brush because it's just so bad. And these are the shades in this one. So this one, oh, actually has two creams. I didn't even know that. I haven't even opened this. Wow, that's so reflective. So we have a deepish gold shade here. I probably won't use that. I'll probably try this one and then maybe one of the creams, I think this one. So the shades in here again are quite beautiful. I think this palette may actually be a little better for deeper skin tones, but I haven't tried it yet, so we shall see. But personally, I don't think I'd be able to use this dark gold shade and possibly this cream may be a little too dark as well. So I'm just going to stick to these two for now. So. Let's go. I'm really excited. They look the same as the Solstice palette in terms of the baked texture, so I'm hoping they perform the same. Just doing a quick swatch, and so far they are definitely more glittery, so it'll be interesting to see how they go on the skin, but it's surprising that it definitely is a different formula. Ooh, that gold shade though is... 
That is beautiful. That is much more similar to the Solstice palette, but I could not use that. That would be a beautiful eyeshadow, maybe. So going into that lighter gold shade, which has so much fallout compared to the Solstice palette. That's so strange. I don't know if you can see this. I feel like it's all the glitter coming out. And it definitely doesn't look like it's picking up as much, but that just could be because the shade's darker. So let's see. Ooh. Okay. It's definitely still got the blinding factor. Oh, wow. I'm actually going to take a touch of the gold and pop it on top. Ugh. Let's see how it goes. Okay, this is why they say swatching can be misleading, because I really thought this was about to disappoint me. But it is not. Oh, wow. Gonna take that lighter shade on my nose. Oh, definitely is a more glittery formula, which is more prominent on the nose. But on the cheek, I don't really feel like it's that noticeable. Like, there's little glitters on my face, but... I'm not bothered by it. It's not too chunky. It's not too intense. I don't know. Just see, I think this color is actually better for my skin tone, having some warmth, but I just personally prefer the icy cool tone color. But as I said, I love all highlighters, so I don't discriminate. Now I'm just going to go in with the light cream and add much like before. Oh, that's gorgeous. Pop that on my inner corner and then grab the highlighter on top. I mean the powder. <laughs> this inner corner makes it very obvious that I'm wearing two different highlighters, so hopefully I don't have to leave the house today. Alrighty, I can't believe I'm saying this, but I think this is actually enough glow and I'm going to stop there. So now I'm just going to give you guys my final thoughts, give you swatches of both palettes next to each other, and yeah, then we'll be done. So my overall thoughts on the Cleopatra's Kiss highlighting palette is that yes, the formula is definitely comparable to the Solstice palette. It's just that one shade that is a little more glittery, but it does not let you down on the shine and the glow and the shimmer and just everything you want from a highlight. And the little bits of glitter honestly just add to it and it just transforms on your face. They are seriously just stunning and I think in terms of both palettes and which one you should buy, I think it just comes down to what shades you prefer in a highlighter. Obviously, as I mentioned, I think this one looks beautiful on my skin, but I like these type of tones better. So tell me which one you guys prefer in the comments down below. But yeah, I am still happy to have both. I'm actually going to be using this a lot more now because that shade is just beautiful and it looks so natural whereas this obviously no one glows like this but yeah i'm absolutely stoked to have this palette thank you to rachel for passing it down to me and i think if you guys are looking at buying one of these then if you can get both and if you can't then just think about what sort of tones you usually go for and either stick with them or go out of your comfort zone and yeah they are definitely both worth the money they are beautiful I'm obsessed and just oh. so that wraps up this video as always if you have any questions about something that I may have left out please leave it down below because I try to cover everything in these videos but I feel like I always forget something so definitely ask away make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe down below if you are new and also maybe let me know is there anything else you'd like me to compare or test out so I hope you're having an absolutely amazing day and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys!